going to show you a little bit of excellence today. I have that. Uh, it's the greatest word processor on this machine, without a doubt in my mind. Um, I've already shown you uh, WordPerfect here. If you want to see WordPerfect, uh, click on the uh, little uh, annotation uh, thingy or whatever the hell like they're calling them these days. <laughs> you want to go to my uh, look at WordPerfect, which has its uses. Definitely uh, not the best word processor by any means on this machine. Excellence, I believe, is by far the... Uh, Best word processor. Let's see, what does it have in the drawer for us? It has a README. Do you want to read me? Uh, it's just a notice to hard drive users that if they want to, they can install a new version of Excellence onto the previous version with a better uh, copy of their user uh, directories as well. Uh, a AREX is a very uh, famous thing on the power user circles, I believe. I've never. Uh, delved into it too much. It seems like but, uh, I'm not even going to talk about it because I don't really know what AREX is. I think AREX is kind of like a a batch file kind of thing if I if, I, uh, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. I don't know. Saves. Oh, RHS show. That would be... Oh, that's for TextCraft Plus, isn't it? Why do I got that there then? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta show off TextCraft Plus. I have so many things I need to show. Where the hell did everything... Oh. <laughs> uh, it's got some uh, AREX programs for you there. Um, it has some utilities, apparently. Document tools. Install it on the hard drive. Well, it's already on our hard drive, so we don't have to worry about any of that. It's got some, uh, just some documents. You want to look at some documents? Well, we're just going to load it up first. Yeah, that's what we should do. Excellence. I love excellence. Uh, well, it's it's fast loading pretty much for a uh, Amiga word processor that is GUI based. Loads up fast enough for my tastes, and uh, puts right up to a new document, untitled document. And this is what you this is what you expect from a modern word processor. It has you know uh, this is a page view. We have the ruler. Uh, we have plenty of functions on the screen itself. It's not as much as some other later uh, Amiga word processors uh, like Final Copy. But Final Copy just runs awfully slow on a standard Amiga 500. This one is nice and fast, which is why I love it. Uh, we have options. Let's look at the preferences. We got, oh, apparently we can change our language. Uh, Yes, we'll, we'll stick with English there. Uh, we can uh, do inches or centimeters. Um, get dictionaries and such like that. Uh, we can just change it into uh, interlaced, which we might try out a little later. Uh, but we're going to stick with the default. It calls it high res. It's not technically. It's medium res, actually. This is workbench resolution. Which is 640 by 200. Uh, terrible. Uh, if I if I took a screenshot of this, guys, uh, you would you would all know how much uh, things get stretched when it comes to uh, both NTSC and PAL machines. Now, uh, right now I'm in NTSC mode. I also show off PAL mode too because PAL mode, I do believe, this is a program that will allow it does a uh, benefit from using PAL mode. We have speech. We can tr control uh, different speed settings for the wonderful uh, built-in Amiga synthesizer. Excellence. Excellence. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's let's uh let's uh, load up something that we've already done just to uh, get a look at it. Huh? We're gonna load up uh, TV Sports Football. My last review, which I wrote completely on. Uh, Excellence on the Amiga. Uh, this is the entirety of the thing. I wrote it all on uh, the Amiga. I just do. Uh, I wanted to. I, when I did a Word Perfect, I, I wrote the uh, actual review on Word Perfect, but I didn't actually uh, you know, write much else prior to that on Word Perfect. Uh, I, I wanted to write something before 
I did the actual uh, written review for excellence. I wanted to write something else yeah, I'm using uh, excellence, and uh, I chose to do TV sports football. Just and this is a great example, just to show you all uh, without actually spoiling the actual review. Show you what uh, some of the things is is all about. Now, uh, I, I was really impressed with the print preview function. Go to print preview. And it will show us, uh, you know, the pages. And while the, while the font is way too small to actually be read on the screen at the moment, uh, I do believe it's all there. And, yeah, this is the start of it. And uh, it's it's there. You can I can even see the dollar sign a little bit. So... But uh, even right in front of me, I cannot for I cannot read a goddamn word that is here. But that it actually shows it in this way, that is impressive to me. Uh, go uh, down. If we go down to page three, it should uh, uh, change it for us again. Yeah, I, I really, I'm really impressed. Uh, this will give you a, a good idea of how it will look on the actual uh, page. Uh, when you print it because uh, well it's because it's so s zoomed in on the Amiga with this resolution it's despite being on the page itself it doesn't really give you the greatest idea of what it will look like on the actual uh, page when you print it uh, I mean it tells you when you s switch pages obviously but still it's when it's this zoomed in it's kind of hard uh, to visualize it, well, you have that print preview uh, feature. Another uh, wonderful feature I, I, I found this out uh, when I did TV sports football is the spelling. Let's check out the spelling, which is just utterly uh, fantastic. Much a thousand times better than the much more expensive, I'm sure, uh, Word Perfect. Uh, well, it doesn't get Simaware right, but well, we'll ignore Simaware, but. Soundtrack, uh, yeah, we'll ignore that one too. Okay, and T. Okay, so it starts off <laughs> with some gibberish there. It doesn't, it doesn't understand. Okay, here's a good one. Cinematic. It, uh, this one really d is good at the spell check. I'm very surprised <laughs> that it was uh, so good at the spell check. Next, I did that. I changed it, right? Yes, I. Yes, I did. Next, so uh, <clears throat> it. Eerily, eerily, eerily is right. Yeah, I got that one right. Ignore that one. <clears throat> Interest, definitely. So it's very good. I'm a bad, I'm a terrible speller, and I just remember when we did Word Perfect that uh, Word Perfect could not figure out anything pretty much. It, it was really terrible at the spell check. Now it was very good, very good with the thesaurus, um, <clears throat> but spell check, it had a, just the worst dictionary when it came to the uh, spell check. It couldn't figure out what I was uh, trying to say. Now I, I, at the time I didn't know, was this, is this, uh, maybe I'm just that terrible of a speller and that is why uh, word perfect is, can't figure it out? Uh, well, no, I, I can't say that anymore because when I look at uh, when I look at excellence here, it gets anything that I've actually spelled wrong. It it knows it can, so you could theoretically uh, it it's it's got the answer for me. I'm a, I'm a terrible uh, speller, unfortunately. I know I know many many a word, but uh, uh, the actual memorization of the spelling. Uh, I can't speak. I can't speak highly enough of this this program spell check. Uh, I don't remember it being so good. Well, I didn't have this particular version. I had a, one of the previous versions. So maybe they got better with the spell check by 1993. Um, I don't know, but I do know I am like this. This is everything I could want from Microsoft Word today or Google. I mean, it's, Google's probably a little better, I imagine, but 
Uh, it gets it gets it gets what I want. Um, the only things it has gotten wrong are things that, that it just doesn't know. It doesn't. It's not quite. It doesn't quite know what spam is. Uh, uh, quite yet, but it knows everything else. Uh, the greatest Amiga spell check program I've come across yet. So uh, we'll uh, stop it there because uh, well, I can't just spend all this time. Okay, got one wrong. You'll see a traditional. I guess. Tradition T I O N A L. Okay, so it's traditional. Is that right? I don't think we can refind it here, so we'd have to go back in. If I I I I think that's I think that's right. So I spelled one really. I messed that one up. That was probably a keyboard error, actually. So it didn't get that one. Okay, like every other. I messed that one up with my hands, and it did get it right, so yay. Uh, spell check. Uh, I'll give you a 95% on fucking spell check. <laughs> I love uh, excellence. You are good with the spell check. So what else can we show you? Let's Well, let's show off the uh, thesaurus, uh, shall we? Uh, how are we going to do this? A masterminds? This is how I did it with WordPerfect. So I had to highlight it and then check the thesaurus. to figure out how this one's gonna work okay so actually just click on the word don't have to actually highlight the whole word C uh, it's got a freaking uh, definition for us to take cognizance of by physical or mental vision uh, well I am impressed again I was pretty impressed with word perfects uh, uh, thesaurus I I think I might <laughs> Might be more impressed uh, with this one, actually. Uh, can we get masterminds? No. So it doesn't know masterminds. Uh, cinematic? No. Okay, maybe I'm not as impressed. <laughs> Market, a business establishment where, where goods are shown for sale. New store, outlet, shop, showroom. Interesting. Okay, how else can we stand? Okay, so it knows it knows a lot of them. It's a familiar person who a person who a person with whom one is on good and usually familiar terms. So your friend, acquaintance, confidant, intimate, mate. I I I think this one is good. What, is it? what do you got for football? Anything? No. No football. Sports? Okay. Physical activities engage in for exercise or pleasure. Athletics. Games. This is fairly impressive. I'm not much of a thesaurus kind of person. I, I know what kind of words I want to use, so... Uh... I, it's not a feature I tend to ever look at in any program although the way they are presented in a program like excellence or uh, word perfect is I, I would say it's better presented than it is in modern word processors actually so uh, I'm 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 impressed I guess yeah I don't use these I, it seems to not have a lot of words but uh, from what it has I mean it's got a full definition there um, it's I like it I like uh, it's this is a uh, full featured indeed check the grammar do we care about its grammar I don't, again the grammar is not I everything I uh, say is what I mean to say I don't care really if I I don't care if the English speakers have a problem uh, with what I say I say everything the way I mean it uh, yeah, yeah, ignore there was a far better game there was a much better game fuck you I don't care I uh, should uh, really use this word oh fuck yourself uh yeah yeah well 
Uh, don't be a grammar Nazi to me. Yeah, I'm, yeah, consider of Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, don't, I do not give a shit. I flying fuck when it comes to, uh, word processors, grammar suggestions. We can even vocalize it. Now, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to come back to you because, unfortunately, I've never been able to figure out how to cancel the vocalization, which is not fun. I would love to be able to cancel it, and it doesn't read along either. Uh, for my Edgar Amiga Poe videos, I have to record it separately and then come back and uh, record the audio separately and then come back and uh, record the screen because it it just stays on the first screen and goes through the entirety of the document. Well, let's see what it has to say if we vocalize it. Well, first let's do the summary. So it does have a summary of uh, my word counts. Over 10,000 characters, almost 2,000 words, 108 sentences, 22 paragraphs for pages. No graphics in this one. We'll show you graphics a little bit later on. Let's vocalize this. EB Sports. Football. <laughs> Cinema Wear. One nine eight eight. Dollar four nine point nine five. My video review for EB Sports Football. <laughs> Soundtrack reported directly from my Amiga. <laughs> Asterisk game best played in the PSC it. mode. I love with it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I need to do another Edgar Amiga Poe video. <laughs> when we think of football game, our first thoughts... I haven't done an another one because you bastards, you didn't give me any kind of a response. I was not, I was not happy with the response, so I said fuck you, and uh... <laughs> Holding on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they do amuse me enough to where I should uh, show a couple more of them. That cinema where decided to enter into the sports market, and what they came up. If you want, you should look for my Edgar Amiga Poe video if you want to hear this sucker at it. But that's it for now. Now there are some other neat features, like we could insert a picture here. Let's say we want a picture start this article out. We can uh, insert and uh, if we find an appropriate uh, IFF image which I might have some in here somewhere. Uh, let's try it. Can we... Okay, yeah. mapping graphic color. So again, we are in workbench resolution. Um, maximum usually eight colors I the, this this program only has four colors uh, will probably look better using final copy two uh, but it's gonna map it down to four colors and these ugly you know the gray green white and black but it will indeed uh, put the workbench one in there okay so I put a I had a screenshot of uninvited uh, from uh, workbench. Can we just delete that? So, yes, we can. Let's see what else we got in there. Insert. I'm sure it's one of these ones. Okay, so here is the title screen for Uninvited. It does definitely seem to stretch it very heavily in the vertical direction. Uh, here let's look let's see how it looks on the print preview though okay that is that is the actual 320 by 200 resolution so it's actually wider than it should be so can we uh, center this a little more yes we can that'll probably make it look a little better there yes it does so while it will it won't be in 4.3 like it would be on an NTSC uh, machine because its actual resolution is 320 by 200, which is wide. Uh, I don't know if we can alter its uh, its length at all. Can we change anything about this picture? Um, I I cannot tell. That's a nice feature to have. Uh, I don't have a printer uh, hooked up to the actual Amiga, so inserting pictures into the document here would do nothing for me. Um, yeah, and once I transfer it over, it wouldn't transfer 
the picture over to a modern system anyway. But uh, very cool nonetheless to uh, have that option. Always cool to be able to insert pictures. Uh, I didn't even know that. I honestly did not know Excellence had that feature. It doesn't come with any pictures. I remember ProWrite. That one did come with a select, uh, you know, few uh, pictures that you could insert, you know, kind of clip arty kind of things. No uh, clip arty uh, kind of pictures with excellence. So if you want to insert any pictures, you'll have to already have them uh, around. But that's, it's a cool little feature, though. We have printer options. Uh, we could, uh, this, I think this is the, uh, yeah, so we could do a draft. Now, graphic would probably be the best quality. Uh, I guess that would be the normal. <laughs> uh, again, we do not have a printer hooked up to the... Amiga. At the moment, anyways, I'm always on the lookout for a nice... My original... I want my original dot matrix printer if I can find it. Uh, we can select all... Uh, let's see if this... Uh, I do believe Excellence allows uh, the copy and pasting between uh, Amiga word processors. Again, it'll definitely work... Um, It'll definitely work within the program itself. Oops, wrong button there. We delete everything, and then we can paste it back in, and it will paste it exactly, you know, how it was originally. Let's see how it handles other uh, programs. If we can, we already know WordPerfect. Uh, don't give a crap about uh, uh, the clipboard. Uh, let us try uh, well, Final Copy Two is in there. Let's try Final Copy Two. So if we come here and we... Okay, paste is not even listed, so no on that. I, so in ProWrite, if we go... Okay, ProWrite does have the paste. We'll put TV Sports Football in there. It didn't do the whole thing. Okay, so looks like it's limited. I, I tried that earlier, and that's what it worked. So... Let's see. I bet it's not the full document. It's like I could do like a paragraph, maybe. Let's try that. So if we do just a paragraph, copy. Can we paste a paragraph? No, not in the final copy, too. Uh, can we do it in ProWrite? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, there is limited ability to copy and paste within um, programs here. Um, let us do just part of it. There was a far... Let's just do that part. See if we can copy it from here. Um, let's see how it pastes into other programs. Well, let's do, do you care any... Oh, no, you don't care. Um, so if I just come back and I hit paste... No, so, you, so it was still from the whole thing. So it was still um, looking at its own little clipboard. So I guess it's like a combination. It has its own clipboard while it also does kind of go into the Amiga at the same time. Now, I, I, I remember using Final Copy to excellence. Uh, Let's do both of those. Edit, copy. Okay, so we are alive. We can paste it within the program. Uh, let's go to excellence and blank document. Can we paste it here? Yes. So, okay. That's interesting. I wonder if we can load something more uh, elaborate in Final Copy 2. No. What if I just do that? Okay, so, limited, limited. You can't just select all from either Excellence or other programs and just uh, throw them over to another program, but uh, with certain programs, they do sort of cooperate with each other. Uh, I know I've tried some, you know, I've tried going with, like, more complicated, like, I've had things bolded in other programs before and transferred them but again this is not a thing I'm really concerned about with excellence because I like excellence so much I write everything pretty much on 
excellence, and I don't really care too much about the copying and pasting, but it's good to know that I can both copy from excellence and paste it to other programs limited. I'll probably have to just do it paragraph by paragraph, so that's cool to know. Now one of the main things I like to do with Excellence is uh, change the pattern there to question mark. That's how you get all the files together. Otherwise, just looking for the document files. Um, and go in and editing. We edit the startup sequence um, using Excellence. This is the program I always use to edit the uh, startup sequence, which is an ASCII. So you can use anything you want. Uh, Workbench even comes included with a, a couple of very bad uh, processors um, like Ed and stuff but uh, I always use excellence excellence is look 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 how fast excellence scrolls through the startup sequence and the startup sequence can get very long especially when you have a hard drive um, this is what I always use so I can go in here I can uh, create you know a, a new assign for some, you know, random game, and uh, you know, it. This is how I always do it. You save it in ASCII, blah blah blah, and it's all good. This is how I do my startup sequence. Um, this is a practical tool that anybody with an Amiga, uh, you know, could have use for a word processor, especially excellence. It just it does the startup sequence uh, top-notch. Would anyone like a glimpse into my life in 1995? 1995 uh, journal here. Uh, again, I, I was, I was, I'm not a good speller now, I was the worst speller in the world back then. Dear John O. John, John o. Hi, my name is Chris. Yesterday one of my friends came back from Facon? Facon? I don't know. Where's Facon? I, I don't know. Where where did he come back? And no one called me. They're losers. <laughs> that's, that, that's all for now. Bye. 12.25 uh, uh, p.m. Today my sister uh, served up my game. Screwed up my game. She, and I was mad. I hop, hop, hop. That uh, Sean and Nathan come back today. Goodbye, uh, Chris. <laughs> my mom won't let my friends come over. Today is a bore. I wish my uh, friend could come over. I don't know what to do. What can I do? Good night. Six forty-nine, August six. Sean and Nathan came back yesterday. Uh, explanation point. And my dad came home too. Goodbye. <laughs> God, bye. God, bye. Good boy. I am sore. Dear Journal, I am sore. It took too long. Today I played Breach 2. <laughs> it was cool and I cannot find Breach 1. I gotta, I gotta definitely review the uh, two Breach games. Oh, those are awesome games. <laughs> uh, so I guess that's it. August 8th. <laughs> I wasn't really playing around too much when it came to uh, bolding, you know, special text and such. But we could do that if we wanted to. We could easily underline the stuff. So uh, there's the title underlined. For this, we could, you know, bold it. When we think of uh, football games, we're always engaged with John Madden. We could italicize that, so. We have options here. It definitely has all those things. Uh, we can change fonts. Excellence. Um, excellence, when it's on your hard drive, works with all of the fonts that are on your hard drive, I believe. So we have a plethora of fonts that happen to be on my hard drive, which we can choose any one of them. Um, how exactly we're going to choose between these a thousand freaking things? I don't know. There's a lot of them. We got Courier. That's always a nice one. Let's we can sample it. Uh, let's change it to Courier. So for here we have a Courier uh, at size 13. Very much looks like a typewriter there, doesn't it? 
Uh, I always like taupe. I mean, I usually stick with the default. I don't normally care. I will be messing it up when I do my written review. Just uh, to screw with it as much as I possibly can. Got a couple topaz. This is an uh, ultra con these are from like anything anything that gets installed in their font directory it, it all it all goes there we got we have the classic times new roman whoa that looks that definitely looks strange to me though <laughs> Try the next one. Maybe just times, times. Is, is times better than Times New Roman? No, it looks the same. But that one just has more. It's the same font, but apparently I have two. And the one it just has more font sizes. We always hit sample if it hit. Got the good old system font if we wanted that. Well, there it is for anybody that can't uh, have enough of the system font. Uh, you can have Word Perfect if you want that. Sapphire looks nice and cool, doesn't it? Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> uh, you can definitely you can play around with some fonts if you want to. That would look very cool printed. <laughs> oh, the old English D. Uh, I have a clock uh, in the system, but the battery is no longer in it, so. <laughs> It thinks it's 1992 all the time. I want to show everybody a version 2.0 of Excellence. This is the one I actually had. Now, originally it came with its own system disk. Uh, the uh, ADFs I found did not include a system disk. So I just put in Workbench 1.3. Only I altered the orange to a more of a darker red because that's what I remember. That's what I recall the system disk for Excellence uh, looking like. Is, uh, it had a red in there, so... Uh, this is Excellence uh, 2.0. Comes with a bunch of utilities. You can install this one uh, under your hard drive and such. Comes with some documents. The same, I believe it's the same kind of documents that are in 3.0, as a matter of fact. Probably the exact same. As I read me, it has the uh, program itself. I really like the icons uh, for this one. Takes a little, tiny bit more time there to load off the uh, floppy. Of course. It's actually a better color. I prefer this color scheme to 3.0. 3.0 has like this god awful green in there. I'm, I'm going to want to change. If I can, I'm going to write down these colors and uh, try to get uh, 3.0 to match these ones. Um, it also has eight colors. 3.0 only has four colors. I don't know why. Why did they downgrade that? Uh, this. It would have been. A lot more useful to me, uh, you know. There's certain there are certain things I use other word processors for because they have more colors. Uh, Excellence apparently had more colors at one point, and it dropped them. Weird. You can uh, get an interlaced window for more resolution if you wish, and you can alter the colors and such. We're going to load our uh, we're going to load our Excellence review though. See how it uh, fares. It's a bit of a pain in the butt with the disk swapping uh, when uh, you when you're running from floppy drive as opposed to hard drive. And here it is, complete with all the fonts I used. I, I guess it copies the fonts over, or we just happen to be lucky. These are the fonts it lists for 2.0. I don't know if it would list more if we had more. Or if there would eventually be a final requester if we had enough, or if this is all it offers, uh, I don't. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but no, it's very, very, very similar to uh, 3.0 in its presentation. There's less um, 
things on the ruler here, like we don't have our bold, italics, and underline on the actual ruler, we have to go into the menus here. Uh, most everything else is very, very similar. Of course, beyond being similar, though, it, it, I, I like the look better. I think this is a better overall look. Can we change the color from here? There. So that's how you change the color. You go to style, you would change the foreground, I imagine, to like a uh, blue there. Yep, that's how you do it. Uh, yeah, that would be cool if, if there were more than four colors in 3.0. I think there's a, I think I really like the fact that bold and everything is on the ruler in 3.0. If it wasn't for that, I might actually downgrade, but uh, I'm going to try to get the oh, the four colors as close to this as possible. And yeah, it looks just the same. It has all the same fonts as we had before. It has all the pictures in there, and uh, it's it's very cool. If, uh, if you guys are wanting to actually see this for yourself, I mean, the way I actually wrote it on the Amiga, I will uh, have a download link uh, on the written review. So you can download it and uh, load it up right from Excellence and uh, see it as I 100% intended you to see it. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have the vocalization thing, though. That's a deal breaker. <laughs> I can't go back to 2.0. It doesn't have the vocalization. <laughs> you know what, folks? I was wrong. I was incorrect. I did not have 2.0 as a kid. You know how I know that? Well, guess what? Guess what I found when I was looking, looking through the floppy disks. I found uh, the actual uh, floppy. For excellence, I'm still, I don't know where the hell the system disc is, but this is the program disc. And when I place it in, I was I was thinking I wasn't going to get to show you guys any uh, version 1.0 uh, looks. Because uh, I could not find the ADF online. Well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, see if anybody wants this one, huh? I guess I will uh, upload this one somewhere if I can. This is the original... Excellence this would be the same one Amiga World reviewed 1.1 or something 1.112 1 or something. Okay, so this one comes with the documents. It does not come with that other folder though. The install. This one does not come with an install folder. I do believe in the Amiga World review they mentioned installing it though, but you had to actually. Uh, I think you actually had to go to uh, the manual and read. It's probably one of the assigned things. Anyway, what is. Read me first have to say about the original excellence. Here it is. Uh, it definitely looks a little different, doesn't it? This is the most expensive of them all, by the way. I had the uh, prices listed for my written review. The original version costs almost $300, $299. 2 costs $199.95. And finally, 3.0, the most fully featured of them all, costs $99.95. So <laughs> the older it gets, the cheaper it is. Uh, this original one, 300 bucks my dad spent on this sucker. And he had the old flight manual and everything. Uh, this is uh, definitely a bigger uh, readme than the other two had, I believe. So here it is, everybody. Uh, that's super cool. It, it, it gets it in there, huh? It might be that all my fonts just happen to be on the system disk that I chose. I don't know if it actually saves them or not into a document. These are my fonts again. But this is the document, everybody. It, it's all there. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't know. We still got to find those pictures, don't we? Yes, the pictures are there, although they don't look quite right uh, on version uh, 1.12 here. You may have your cake and eat it too. It's, it's so cool. It, fully, fully backwards compatible, everybody. You know, it's not going to look quite right from version to version with the color differences, but it is fully compa backward compatible. Not just if it's backward compatible, I'm sure it would be forward compatible. That is, it's very, very, very cool. It, it, it's tough. Very cool that they have all of this stuff here. 
Again, this one features eight colors. The original featured eight colors. That is so odd that they ripped that out in the last version. So strange to me. Uh, huh, it's very strange. What does the print preview look like? Ugh. Discs fucking suck so much. Here it is with that classic Amiga look. <laughs> it really, it's really cool. Um, what else do we have? It's very all. It's all very similar to the rest of them. It didn't change too much. Again, we can. It does have an interlace mode, but uh, the basics are all there. And for historical purposes, I'm going to uh, bring this ADF up to you guys somehow. I don't know. Nobody seems to be interested when I uh, have something special for anybody. I don't have contacts. I don't have contacts with the Cossack people. Um, but nevertheless, I'll see what I can do here because I could not. I could not find version one. I wanted to show it off to you. I couldn't find it. And guess what? <laughs> I had it all, all all this time. I had version one. I just didn't. I didn't even know. I didn't even remember that it, this was mine. So <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is it, guys. Uh, it's all there for you. Um. Cool. That's that's cool. When I did word perfect, I read to you every last word from my written review. Well, I want you to have a reason to go and look at my written review to read it yourself. Uh, therefore, we're gonna we're actually we're gonna show me typing a lot of it, but uh, I'm gonna get some new content for you for the written for the video review. I'm gonna do a couple extra things like reading from the Amiga World review. So uh, let's stay tuned for that. So yes, go to the uh, written review shot97.blogspot.com. If you want to uh, read the entirety of my written review for excellence, but uh, today we're just going to be uh, focusing in the video on something you know more unique for the video purposes. We're going to show you, you know, maybe some reviews and such. First, we have excellence. The sky is the limit. Don't limit your potential. Experience excellence. Word processor designed for your Amiga with 250 available fonts. To spell as you type 900,000 plus word dictionary. Grammatical. Style checker. The Thoris. Index and table of contents generator. Headers. Footers and footnotes. Sail through postscript output. Beautiful. Resizable. Color graphics. Easy to use macro language. Making complex actions a breeze. The fastest word processor for your Amiga is the only one you'll ever need. Have an excellence. Summer. Let's check out the review from Amiga World of the original uh, version. 1.11 of excellence. Does it live up to its name? As the second heavyweight word processor on the market, excellence had time to learn from WordPerfect's deficiencies. It has a raft of professional features and a true Amiga feel. With their Amiga-born champion excellence, Microsystems Software hopes to slay the giant. At least put a dent in its armor. Excellence is so easy to learn and use that on the surface it does not appear to have the same power as its rival. A quick glance at the package tells you otherwise. Excellence offers postscript printer support, up to eight print and display colors, automatic index and table of contents generation, IFF graphics support within documents, up to four text columns per page, mathematical operations on columns of numbers, multiple headers, and footers, super and subscripts, footnotes, math functions, and a 70,000 word thesaurus with cinnamons and antonyms. A 90,000 word spelling checker that monitors your document continuously or reads it all at once. A grammar checker, mail merge, programmable macro keys, full mouse and keyboard support, and more. The manual is clear, well structured. It contains many illustrations. If you're using the 512K version, Excellence boots up in two color mode. Sliders lets you adjust the colors. The one megabyte version boots in four color mode. Excellence file requester system helps speed operations. You don't have to wait for the program to list an entire directory before you indicate a new drive or subdirectory to search. By default, the requester lists only document files, but mouse clicks instructed to display. Picture files are all files. If you see a file you want before the directory is finished, just double click and the file loads. The final grade. My first impressions are that Excellence is the kind of word processor TextCraft was meant to be and WordPerfect should have been. It's very easy to use and yet has the power and flexibility to handle just about any word processing task. After using Excellence for a while, I have a few reservations about the program. It has no glaring problems, just minor quirks that probably could have been cleaned up with a few hours more of work. The hard disk installation routine, some incompatibilities with TextCraft files, and a few minor yet annoying 
bugs here and there make excellence less than it could have been. The speed also could be improved, especially when you are inserting new text in a document. I kept typing ahead of the program, even at moderate pace. You need one megabyte or more to take full advantage of all features. While there is still room for improvement, excellence is definitely a top-of-the-line word processor that ranks with the best. When battling with the other giant, excellence has enough going for it to put up a good fight. Excellence Microsystems Software, 12798 West Forest Hills Boulevard, number 202 West Palm Beach, Florida, 33414, $299, 512K, required uh, that review by uh, G. Wright, or C. Wright, I don't know, I can't tell. Let's take a look at some uh, 2.0 uh, advertisements presenting the most dashing trendsetter since Excellence. 1.0, the first version of Excellence, set the standards for power features and ease of use. And Mio word processors, Excellence, version 2.0 sets the standards again. Excellence has a personable and intuitive interface, allowing you to unlock its power in simple, understandable steps. Understandable also flourishes in the thorough reference manual that communicates with you in English. <laughs> Yeah, let's look at a 2.0 review by Jeffrey uh, Williams. Writers tend to develop very close relationships with their word processors. After spending years with Scribble, grumbling over its inadequacies, I was wooed by WordPerfect only to be heartbroken by its non-standard, poorly designed interface and constant crashing. In excellence, however, I found all the features I've been looking for. I fell in love with the grammar checker and also like the fact that it's similar to Word on the Mac, a program I am well acquainted with. The romance soon soured, however. For all the things I loved about Excellence, a screen refresh was just too slow. But even for the screen to update, every time I added a new sentence, disrupted my train of thought. With the release of version 2.0, I have renewed my friendship with Excellence. The program speed has increased dramatically. Pasting a sentence into a paragraph is now almost instantaneous. Also, it keeps up with me no matter how fast I type, and even does so with my wife, who uses all our fingers. Another significant addition is the inclusion of virtual memory. This lets you use a floppy or hard disk as memory storage, although it works much more slowly. For example, if you have a hard drive and a megabyte of memory, it is possible to create documents as large as 976 pages over 2.5 megabytes. The original Excellence was designed to work with only 512K, which caused memory shortages and constant loading from the disk. In addition, you could save only to the program disk with a single drive system. The new version requires one meg and works much better. Also, when you quit the program, frees up the memory it uses. Something the original version did not always do. Both dictionary and thesaurus are from Merriam-Webster and are top of the line. The dictionary has been beefed up to 140,000 words and the program now consults the customizable dictionary as well as the standard one to guess a word. Excellence 2.0 works under Workbench 2.0 and looks great in interlace mode on Amiga. 3,000. How does Excellence 2.0 stack up to the competition of the full-featured graphic-capable uh, word processors? I would give PenPal an edge in graphics handling and rate ProWrite the best for script writing and storyboarding. The ability to handle and manipulate words is your main concern, however. I recommend Excellence 2.0 above the other. The spelling checker and the thoris are unsurpassed, and it is the only one with a grammar checker. It is also the only one that has all the basic text and formatting features including those for table of contents, indexes, multiple columns, headers, and footers. For those reasons, Excellence 2.0 is the only graphics word processor I would use to write a book or lengthy term paper. In fact, Excellence 2.0 compares well with non-graphics word processors. It is the only graphics-oriented package that comes close to the powerful but annoying WordPerfect in terms of text handling. If it worked as well with Professional Page, and Transcript does, uh, Excellence 2.0 would become my one and only. Excellence 2.0, uh, 199.95. Let's check out the final version, Excellence 3.0, which is now only 99.95. One of the Amiga's oldest word processors, Excellence, has never really lived up to its name until now. Version 3.0 may have finally reached world class status, at least among Amiga software. Uh, start sporting a new 2.0 look, even under Workbench 1.3, Excellence is an attractive program. The program is chock full of other new features as well. Bookmarks, a handy addition, are the electronic equivalent of paper scraps that tuck between important pages in a large document for easy location. As for page layout options, what modern word processor would be complete without multiple columns? Excellence. Allows up to eight. 
In a nutshell, Excellence does just about everything you might want or expect in a word processor. It doesn't do everything perfectly, however. It cannot change the case of words with a keystroke. Oh, somebody called the ambulance on that one. Anyway, that uh, about wraps up my uh, video review. Uh, definitely check out the written review if you want a little bit more. Shot97retro.blogspot.com. Check the descriptions or comments for a link to the direct article. Check out my Word Perfect review. Well, now's as good as time as any to uh, do that one. And also the last review, which got a grand total of five views in the UK. Probably from the same person, too. That's... That's how much uh, you guys really care about the Amiga, huh? No, 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 no. TV Sports Football rated in top 20 most influential games of all time from Computer Gaming World and uh, five views in the UK. Yeah, be proud of that one. Uh, check out TV Sports Football, would you please? Thank you. Uh, hope you'll subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.